What's up? Are we live? Are we here? Let me stop acting all weird. What's up, y'all? But y'all stop watching. No, you need to be, 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 be lame. You see, he, he acting funny and not doing funny faces. I don't like him. <laughs> he was stupid. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Charles, man. Charles, that is where, man. We finna get into this art of dialogue. Dropped a really cool interview, man. They talking to one of the police officers from, from na the now debunked Compton Police Department. You know, they had a lot of corruption. They were so corrupt that they had to shut the whole department down. But anyway, while they were up and running, this is one of the, this actually, this cop is not corrupt. At least I don't think he is, but he was actually around doing the whole, you know, death row and Tupac and the, you know, and the, in the South Side Crips. He grew up actually with Keefe D and them. Let me go ahead and play this video and we're going to come back with my reaction. Hit that thumbs up button, y'all. If you can play, you know, Keefe D, he grew up in the streets of Compton too, but he was more like a dope dealer. I never investigated Keefe D on shootings or whatever. He's a big Bobby. time dope dealer, man. He was making money hands over fist, selling narcotics across the country. He was he was a shot caller for that crew. He had a lot of clout. So whatever, uh, you know, Keefe D told them guys to do, they're gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna do it. So Keefe D was calling all the shots. Well, I wouldn't, you know, he he ran the crew. He had the money. Southside Crips used to be, you know, like they used to be all together. Then they had an internal feud. So there was actually two factions. And Keefe D ran a crew called the Burris Crew. And that was Orlando and Bubble Up and Big Dre. All You know, he had, he had his crew. And he, let me, let me, in my opinion, if he was in that car in Vegas and... Keefe D said, hey, man, we're not we're going to handle this when we get back to Compton. We're going to go party. I don't want to deal with this right now. They would have did it. I think, I think he had that much uh, clout over everybody. There's no doubt in my mind. Now, I call him a shot caller. It's crazy because he says that, uh, you know, Keefe D could have just went ahead and just called it off and said, you know what, guys, you know what, man? You know, he wouldn't say guys. I'm pretty sure he would say some. I don't know. I don't know what he would say. But anyway, if he wanted to call it off, and um i read the book his book keefe d's book after they end up shooting uh tupac they went and party anyway so it's like it was, you know it was just another thing you know it's just they that's what i'm saying them type of people man them game bangers man them real hardcore game bangers they kill like it ain't nothing like whatever in his book he said after, after they shot tupac he went to he had uh keefe d ran a bunch of rooms i think it's uh at uh I forgot one of those high falutin hotels on the strip. He rented a bunch of rooms. Plus, they had he, they had another spot that they would kick back. He said they went to this little kickback spot and went back to their rooms and just kicked and they had a big party with about like 60, 50 people. So it was like whatever, you know what I'm saying? When Tupac got killed, how was it for Orlando and Compton after Tupac got killed? And everyone thinking it was him that killed Tupac. Yeah, well. Yeah, he had, you know, legendary status, as I'd say. He's, uh, it made him a big-time guy. He's like, he's he's the one that killed Tupac. Because he actually, according to our informants, the informants, which we had a network of informants everywhere, they were saying he was bragging about it. Mm -hmm. And then after Tupac actually died, what, six, seven days later, and he kind of shut his mouth after that, but he was <laughs> bragging about it at first to some of his homies. And we were told about that. But hey, man, you know what? I hate to keep stopping y'all, but I was just thinking. They always said that Tupac. They, they said that Orlando Anderson bragged about shooting Tupac, and I thought to myself, that's the most dumbest thing you could do is brag about shooting somebody. You know what I'm saying? So basically, one of the biggest rappers in the world at the time. You know, Tupac was where Drake is now. That's how big Tupac was in, in, in the in the mid 90s 90s before he passed on that all everybody had that album the new york everybody had that he was huge he was at the height he was at the beginning stages of being a y'all remember when drake first blew up like he was he was big but then he he did something or a song or something and it, it just blew him up or had i forgot what album you know what album i think drake had that like had like that was the started from the started from the bottom now we here I don't know what album that came out on, but when that song dropped, 
that's what blew up Drake from like just being a regular hip hop rapper to go to doing to being like mainstream like you know i think i think even the president even said that slogan start from the, everybody was saying that when that song came out started from the bottom now we're here you know what i'm saying that's what blew him up all eyes on me was tupac's boom he got nominated for a grammy that was his he was gonna be pop tupac you know what i'm saying he was gonna be like huge huge you know then he ended up you know what i'm saying because it came out that same year he passed on so uh I forgot what point I was making. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, Keith, uh, Orlando Anderson bragging. So I always thought to myself, why was he bragging about that? And he just shot one of the biggest rappers in the world. And I thought to myself, he thought that he was going to survive. Because I remember when Tupac got shot, Tupac died a week later. So everybody because everybody thought that he was going to pull through. I mean, I, Matter of fact, I remember when it came out, he got shot. It was, it was like news, but it wasn't even that big of a deal. Cause he had got shot previously before that and he survived he was like oh tupac and the way even the way they, they reported it it was like oh tupac got shot in vegas he's like oh okay you know he's like damn that's, people were shocked but he was like oh he you know he gonna pull through it so i was thinking to myself orlando anderson probably was was bragging thinking that homeboy was getting ready to live that's why he said after he passed away seven days later he was he was quiet about it <laughs> He probably was scared, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go ahead and play Prince Payne and the rest of it. If you're the one that killed the one of the biggest rap stars of all time, exactly, you're gonna be famous. So, you know, he didn't get to uh, he didn't get to deal with that, you know, notoriety for too long because it was only a year and a half after where he was killed. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, ev I mean, we like I said, we had everybody calling us. They told us, you know, the, about the white Cadillac. They told us everybody that was involved the four people in the Cadillac. So, you know, we provided all that to Las Vegas and along with the motive and finally something happened. So, man, I'm, I'm stoked about that. Right, right. But speaking of the white Cadillac, right? The guy that was driving that car that night when Tupac got killed, you got any information on him? Um, same thing. Grew up in Compton. Uh, his nickname, they called him Bubble Up. And he, was, up. he was a little older than uh, Dre and Orlando. He was, uh, but but he's been around, you know, he's been arrested in the past for weapons violation and selling narcotics. So, but I never really investigated him on any shootings or anything like that. So, but hey, if he grew up in the streets of Compton in my book, you gotta be pretty tough, so. How did Big Dre pass away? Um, in 2004, Big Dre, he passed away of, I think he had complications from obesity. He was a big guy. Oh, dang. So you had Orlando Anderson died a, a year and a half after Tupac's murder. Big mm. Dre in 2004 died of obesity. And then you had Bubble Up, the last guy in the car, died in 2015. And he he was shot in Compton on, on a robbery. Oh, during wow. a robbery. So oh, dang. They're all dead. I think except I remember KVD. that. KVD is the only one living. I think I remember that one. That was when... Uh, he he was a he worked at a uh, I don't know whether he owned it or he worked at a uh, dispensary. Bubble Up worked at a dispensary in Compton. I'm thinking I, mean, I may be wrong. Y'all can let me know in the comments. But I believe the way he got uh, murked uh, is, is 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 because uh, he had something to do with a, 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 um, a marijuana dispensary in in Compton. I don't know whether he he, he I, I don't know whether he did security or he worked there or, or he owned it or something like or a car owner. But anyway, they tried they went in there to rob the dispensary and they and he ended up getting killed. He ended up getting shot to death. But uh yeah, he, that's how he met his demise. But uh <clears throat> mm. let me finish playing. This is the rest of the video. That's that's it. That's it. Okay. Wow. What y'all think about that, man? Crazy. All I'm going to suffer, Keefe D. He the last one standing. You know? Had he just kept his... I'm trying to think, man. You know, had Keefe D kept his mouth shut. Or if he would have just uh, did the... 
you know, or if he would just stop selling, you know, selling what he was selling and just laid low, he probably would have got away with it. He probably just lived the rest of because all of them, everybody in the car died. Nobody, nobody's left a snitch on him. You know what I'm saying? Because people can say, oh, he told me that he such, such, did Tupac, but I can just say, no, I didn't. I didn't tell you that, you know, unless it was somebody that was, everybody that was in that car that was a part of that whole thing are gone. He was, a, he's the last one left. If he would have just kept this, if he would have stopped selling, because the reason why he was, the reason why he told that he was a part of the whole deletion of Tupac is because he got caught with a bunch of uh, narcotics and they was about to give him some heavy time for it. He was, you know, he got busted again. And so he gave up the whole thing. So had he had stopped, so you know what? I'm done, I'm done messing with this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, or if he would've just said, you know what, forget it. Y'all take me to jail then. I ain't telling y'all nothing. And they went ahead and gave him life. He would've, we would never would've known. You know what I'm saying? But he would've still been in prison though. But had he, had he stopped selling, and just went legit or did something else, we would never would have known. Everybody else passed on. He, we would never would have known. The reason why him getting busted is what led to him getting into the Parfait Agreement with Greg Caden, which would led to him confessing to the actual, him being in the car of person who allegedly, you know, person who uh, <clears throat> took out Tupac. Anyway, y'all. What y'all think about that story, man? Art and Dialogue. Y'all can check out the video, the full video um, on Art and Dialogue. It just dropped today. Go ahead and check out my channel, Charles and his world. Leave your comments. What y'all think? But this is interesting. This is 27 years later. All this stuff is coming out. Now the whole thing with Diddy. I don't know. I think I'm, they, and Diddy's not going there. I don't think they, they're not going to take Diddy. <coughs> they might. They, not, they will bring him in for probably an interview. Cause he was uh keeper d brought him up and he's one of the main suspects now and being that he brought his name up they probably they probably already done talked to him already but i don't think that he's going he's not they don't have no real hard evidence that did he you know pay the dime or had anything to do with it said some kind of, yeah that's that's just i don't think that's what it is anyway leave y'all comments y'all subscribe to charles and israel appreciate it